candidates that are running for the role of VP for Engagement and Development, Aaron Harper and Cara McGovern. We spoke to them and asked what they want to do in their manifestos and what changes they would bring about to the role. So can you introduce yourself and um, a little bit about the role you're running for? Yeah, so my name is Cara McGovern. I'm a final year business student and I'm running for Engagement and Development. Yeah, and what do you think you can bring to the role? I think, uh, so I have a lot of experience in running events. So I think I can bring my experience of running events and getting people involved. Like the, so far I've took over the chairperson at ANF and I've saw every event I've run, so I know what students want and I think I can really get them involved. So um, is there anything you think that would need to be changed within the role itself? Uh, I think the role needs to be more defined and students need, need to know exactly what the role does. So I think if uh, there's more awareness of what the role actually does, it'll be able to be performed better. Yeah. So do you want to just run us through your manifesto? For my manifesto. So first thing on my manifesto is revitalise events. I feel a lot of events are targeted towards first year students, whereas there's a lot of other students in college. So I think there needs to be more frequent and diverse events spread across all campuses. Then secondly, I think uh, we need to facilitate campus life in much. So to get involved, there need to be places to get involved. So I believe that uh, there should be commuter hubs brought into each campus. So these are relaxing places where students can go because I commuted for the first three years and I found there's nowhere to go. You're sitting in the library on a computer watching Netflix some days and I was like, there's nowhere you can actually go and socialise. So I'd love to have relaxing areas with basic amenities so you can boil a kettle, make pot noodle, whatever. And then I also think there should be a weekly bus to Omni for, because this year I'm actually living on campus. So I'm one of the few students that have done both. So it, and I struggle, struggle down the trek to Omni. It's not that far, but it's far enough. With a bag of, so, with a bag of messages, yeah. So. I think there needs to be a, it was brought in before a campus bus to Om, Omni, but it was actually to Lil, Lil actually sponsored it, but uh, it was brought in halfway through the year and it wasn't really run properly because everyone gets in kind of a routine and they follow the same routine every week, they go to this shop with these people at this time, so I think if it's brought in from the start of the year, it would be able to be run perfect and all the first years will get on board and there will be an engagement in that. Yeah, there was a bit of a crisis at the start of the year with um, class rep nominations, they were delayed. Do you think there was any way to maybe better manage that or better. was there anything you would uh, have done differently to handle the situation? Differently. So Siobhan got a, um, it was a very good, it's a very good system she has actually got in place now, but obviously it took time to work out and there should have been a backup system. So I think there should be a paper ballot as well as, like the system is up and running perfect now and I've no doubts that it's going to work week one, but there has to be, uh, there has to be a backup, so the paper ballot has to be there and if that online doesn't work it gets scrapped straight away, paper ballot's done and we have a date, I'll set a date out that we have to have class reps by. Okay and in terms of engagement, um, it's evident about this year that a lot of roles are uncontested and um, do you think that people feel um, that they can't include themselves in running for roles or do you think that shows a lack of engagement or how would you um, address this issue next year? Um, so it's tough with the building a new student centre. The SU is kind of hidden away from things. You have to walk all around the new bar, you have to walk up a hidden stairs and there. I'm not seeing, and it doesn't look very appealing to be in the offices. I think next year, once the big glass windows are up and everything, you'll be able to see the offices and everyone will be like, Wow, that's appealing. So I think, I think it's, I think it's really a once off. I think it'll start to get better from now. And the second thing, that you can run campaigns, so promotional videos, etc., mm -hmm. to make it more appealing as well. Yeah. And what would you say would be the biggest challenge you feel um, the in incoming VP would face next year? Uh, the biggest challenge I'd face. It will. It will be. I think unity across all campuses. We're still. We're two years in, we're still struggling between Pats and Glasnevin. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge over and come that, because Pats, they feel like they've been mistreated. Uh, so I think I really, this year they've had kind of Matt Davey as the unofficial Pats rep, which is, which is not good for a union. You should have all five of us to be repping both campuses. So I think that is the biggest challenge. Okay, so Carol, why should people vote for you? Uh, I feel I have a great understanding of what students need and how to get them involved and I really think I'm the best man for the job. Okay, well we wish you the best of luck. Cheers, thank you. Hi, um, do you just want to introduce yourself a little bit and maybe tell us a bit about why you want to run for this role? So my name is Aaron Harper, I'm a final year multimedia student and I'm running for the position of engagement and development uh, mainly because I have been involved heavily in my time at DCU 
in all aspects that are required for this role, so clubs and societies, volunteering, class reps and campaigns uh, for the SU. So it seems like a kind of a natural progression for me. Do you want to just maybe run through um, your manifesto and some of the things in your own words that you think need to be implemented? Yeah, so I think some, some long-term goals I would have would be uh, obviously to bring volunteering on par with uh, clubs and society. So one thing I would like to implement would be to have the volunteer fair and the clubs and socks fair amalgamated into one so that uh, because there, there is such an emphasis on clubs and societies within DCU that we kind of give uh, volunteering um, a similar platform and ensure that people who do want to get involved in volunteering can do so and can see what there is on offer within DCU. Also uh, to update the SU website as is in the manifesto of many candidates and our current president wishes to do that uh, over the summer. Um, okay, so one thing that was um, quite an issue this year with DCU was the class rep um, nominations at the start of the year. Um, how do you think this could have been better managed? Maybe there was a way to um, stop the delay or in fact maybe implement something quicker? Um, mm -hmm. How do you feel that you could have done well, this better? There was a couple of issues with that. One, we didn't have a returning officer, so uh, I think within the constitution it is the engagement and development officer that runs the class rep elections, but in conjunction with uh, the returning officer and obviously we didn't have one so there was no help there and um, also there was no meeting between ISS and the SU it was all done over the phone so I think possibly a proper meeting and I think maybe it wasn't uh, seen as serious an issue as it was and that there was uh, a delay and a knock-on effect by having it so late and I think to ensure that we uh, that it doesn't happen again essentially to uh, try trial it and work with ISS over the summer to uh, eliminate any issues that we had this year um, so we can get straight into class rep council we can have our class reps elected and get into the, tr the training and ensure that uh, students are represented uh, on the SU. Okay so in terms of engagement there has been an evident lack of it um, mm -hmm. as a lot of people have and notice that there actually is a few roles this year that are uncontested. There was a few. There was one that had to be um, back, put back out for someone mm. to actually go for the role. Yeah. Do you feel that there is a lack of engagement, and is there any particular reason you think that people are um, a bit adamant to not run for the roles or put themselves out there? Mm. Yeah. Well, I think um, there's a couple of reasons why we haven't had as many candidates this year. Um, one of the reasons being that we haven't had a kind of a student hub student centre because it's been under construction for the last two years so there's definitely uh, less community feel within DCU um, because of that. Uh, I think that the issue of the cost of running for a position, a 300 euro budget, um, I know a lot of students couldn't afford to spend that because it is their own money and they aren't guaranteed to be elected so they, I mean, if they don't get elected, it's still 300 euro that is, I wouldn't say wasted, but that they have spent and that they're not going to get back. And in terms of the role itself, what would you feel are the main issues or the biggest problems that someone would come into um, if you were to get this role? Um, I think it is just ensuring that uh, for years to come that there's a solid foundation to work on. I think with the new student centre, there's uh, a great chance to uh, start afresh and ensure that first years coming in are engaged and join clubs and societies and get volunteering and uh, understand how the SE works and how it can benefit them. Um, I think that is the main issue that uh, the, the next year's SU will face and I hope if elected I can be part of that and I can uh, ensure that uh, we do get off the ground running with the new student centre. Okay, so Aaron, why should people vote for you? Um, they should vote for me because I think I'm a, a approachable, I'm hardworking, I'm definitely dedicated to the role, I'm experienced, I have reached out to so many different areas and consulted uh, all those areas in what I wanted to do. Um, I have gotten some great feedback about what it is that I feel like I can achieve this year. Um, it is very doable, it is realistic and I think I have, while I have given a lot to students in the last couple of years through various ways, I definitely think I can give 
a lot more in this role. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And Thank you. So there you have it, those are your two candidates running for the role of VP for Engagement and Development in your student union elections. You can now log into Loop and place your vote and results will be out this Friday. I'm Katie Gallagher reporting for DCU TV News.